I'm Josh Brolin and I'm working on six projects right now. I don't know, my biggest vice is probably my desire to hang around my kids. I love being around my kids, you know? My kids are older now, they're 26, 21. My son was in Bangkok for three years, my daughter was in Brooklyn for three years, and now they're home, and now they're mine again. Mine, mine, mine. I love being around my kids. The fact that boundaries don't really exist. They, they can for the director, but for actors they shouldn't exist. So you have like an understanding of what you're doing and then you kind of can go off and, and if you trust the director enough, you know he's gonna use takes that are appropriate to the tone of the film, but it's, that's not really up. It changes. I think I went through a time where it was just directors and then I went through a time where it was director acting, you know, the great character. But I think mostly it's uh, like a lot of things that I end up doing are a lot of things, I probably shouldn't say this because then everybody goes, well he said no, but he doesn't really mean, mean no. When I get really, like, I'll say no, but I'll say no strongly. Mm -hmm. and, and it's usually because I, I have a fear of not being able to pull it off. And then that fear becomes a desire, and then it becomes a need to confront, and then I end up doing it. So it's, I think mostly it's based on character. I think now it's becoming more about story. Like, when I enjoy a film, I usually enjoy the story, and then I'll love the characters beyond that. But it's the story that means everything to me. So I think more story now. I don't know, you know, I just like, I just had this revelation where I want to, I, want, I work a lot and I like working, but I think I'm, there's an exhaustion that's happening that's taking away from something and I, and I, and I don't want to take away from that thing. So I, I loved climbing. When I got ready for Everest, I love, I mean, I absolutely fell in love with it, but I also have a very healthy fear of it. So I have no interest in like hurting myself, but when you, know, when, you, when you wake up in the morning at 10, 11, 12,000 feet and you're watching the sun come up, it's pretty great, you know, because it's, it's just a different perspective. It's like doing a PTA film. It's a different perspective. I enjoy that. So I don't know what I'm going to do. I know I'm going to, I'll move. I mean, not move residents, but just I'll continue to move. I have a huge pile of books that I haven't gotten to, and I think that's part of the exhaustion thing, because every time I open them up, I end up going to sleep. And I'm a big reader, and I miss reading so much. So when you open a book and you start doing that thing, and your mouth's open, and it's just unattractive. So I would like to read a book with my mouth closed, often. I like my great advice, but it's not advice. It's a you know, it's first editions. I love first editions. What's, like what's, one of the great first editions I ever got was one when I moved, no, when I visited New York in a real way, the first time when I was 17, wanting to become an actor and all that. And the first book I read was, God, Woody Allen, Sideways? No, Side, oh no, I'm not gonna remember what it is. Woody Allen's Side Effects. And then when I worked with Woody on the last, the last time I worked with Woody, I had him sign a first edition of Side Effects. So I have that at home.